Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the WP Testimonials plugin, which is a plugin that allows you to display and manage testimonials that users submit about your product, service, or website on your WordPress installation. So the first thing to do is to head to the My Theme Shop member area and scroll down on your active premium resources until you find at the bottom here you have your premium plugins and you want to download WP Testimonials. And just click download plugin files. And so you just want to save that onto your computer and then head to your WordPress dashboard. And you want to go to plugins and then add new and then upload plugin and then choose the file you've just downloaded. So WP testimonials there, click open and then install now. WordPress is then going to upload and install the plugin. And from there, you just need to activate it. With the plugin activated, you're going to see that on the left hand side there, you've got an extra menu now, which is your testimonials. And if you click on that, then you see we have this custom post type, which controls the testimonials that are on your site. So if we just head to settings, then I can show you around the global settings that are used to customize the plugin. So you see first we have a tick box to moderate testimonials. Um, and so under this one, if you have this ticked, then when a user submits a testimonial, it's going to be automatically sent to draft. Um, and then you can review the content and publish it yourself. Otherwise it will be published directly if that is unticked. You also have the option to you choose a testimonial category, which you can set up using the categories option on the left hand side. You can set a maximum upload size for images. And you can also show an image where an image is required, but you don't have one set. And you'll see there's a default one set there. If we go to the submission form tab, you're going to see that you have this short code, um, which allows you to use that any on any post or page across your site. And you just need to copy and paste that in. And you can just select the different options here. So uh, you can show or hide, the title field, name field, position of the person, link, etc., etc., And you can also change the label for all of those. We'll perhaps uh, leave position of the person unticked, um, perhaps get rid of the link, and um, we'll leave the rest of those as it is and just click save on that. So if we just copy that and then head to a any page or post on our site, we'll perhaps um, add a testimonial submission page here. And all we need to do is um, add in the short code here and then click publish. You can use that short code on any post or any page on your site. So if we just view that page, then we're gonna see that here we have a new testimonial submission page um, and the users can use this to add their own testimonials. So I'm just going to add in some dummy content here. Um, and you can see they can set a rating, upload an image, and um, users can just submit this using those fields there. And just click send, and you'll see you have the success message there. So if we now head back to our WordPress dashboard, then um, if we head to the testimonials, we're going to see that as we've selected that to appear as a draft and not be also published, that we can now view the testimonial once it's been submitted. And you'll see you have those showing up as we just submitted them there. We can now just publish that now. And you'll see we have our first testimonial. I'm just going to add in another testimonial here, which you can do yourself. Um, so not all the testimonials have to be user submitted. Um, and so you can just add in the title and add the content. And um, again, you can just add in the different fields here. So we'll call this guy John. And his email is just a dummy one. 
And again, you can add the image here, which I'll just leave blank for the minute. And you can set the rating as you would elsewhere. You also have the options for categories there. If we head back to the settings, you'll now see we have two testimonials published. We can now choose the short code for how the testimonials are displayed on your site. So you have different options, for example, a bubble grid, um, and you can just choose the different types there. A card box grid, and we'll show you what that looks like there. And you have different options for that. Um, you can choose the different layouts there. You can have a quote grid, um, the simple grid, or a carousel. Um, with only two testimonials there, you see um, that's what that's going to look like. We'll set ours to a card box grid and perhaps have that center aligned. And you can either choose to show specific testimonials. And then once you click on that, you're going to see the uh, titles of the testimonials. Or you can choose to query the testimonials, which means you can select um, from the categories. Had you set one earlier? Um, and you can choose the number either a latest order or a random order. You can also choose a color scheme. Um, so for example, we might set this to a red and you're gonna see that show up. Also generated the different nuances of the color there and you can choose the options to show the title perhaps, leave out the image, show the rating or the position of the person. We haven't got any uh, position in our, in our testimonials so they haven't displayed there. And you also see here on the live preview, you can drag the, the border here so that you can simulate the different width of your site. And testimonial will always take up the full width available. Once you're done with that though, you can take the short code and just copy that. And now you can paste it onto any page or post. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like on a post. Um, so we'll just take any post that we've already made and or indeed you can be a new post or page and we're going to paste the shortcode in click update now if we head to our live site then we're going to see that on this post now we have the testimonials displayed with the options we selected and as i said those can go onto any post or page and any way that you can use shortcodes you can get those to show up just one final thing to show you then which is the uh, widgets and to use that, you just need to go to Appearance and then Widgets. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see that you've got the Testimonials widget. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto my sidebar. And you can see here we can set a title. Um, I'm going to leave mine blank. And we have the same layout options as before, including, um, so for example, I'll go for a Carousel Testimonials full width there. I'm just going to show two testimonials there, and you can have the category if you have any. I only have two testimonials to show anyway, but you can set that to whatever order you'd like. I'm gonna show the latest um, and perhaps just untick a couple of these options just to show you what they look like. You can set the color scheme as well, but I'll leave that as it is. You also have the option to insert a short code, which will override the settings there. And you can grab that short code as I just showed you from the settings page. Click save on that. And then if we now head over to our site and click on a post we're going to see what the testimonials widget looks like if we scroll down here we have that at the bottom of our sidebar and you can see we have the options we'd selected with that full width carousel displaying there and that's really all there is to it wp testimonials is a really powerful plugin and um, you've got here the options once you've installed and activated the, the plugin just need to head to the testimonial section and you can add and moderate testimonials as they come in here. You can set up different categories. You can change the short codes and you've got those settings there, which you can use to set up the short codes. And you also have the appearance options to add in the additional widgets you'd want. Any queries, then don't hesitate to get in contact with one of our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching.